good morning it is a bit of a lazy feeling day today I'm just walking Eden on her morning walk Jay went to the gym this morning and done a little session I didn't go though I just done some squats and push-ups in the house in the AC because it is another scorcher and I couldn't face gymming <laughs> We're just going to have a home day today and get some work done and do some work on the website, the new website, and do some laundry and things like that. So that's what's happening today. A nice chilled out day, I think. Alright, heading back home now for some breakfast. Time to refuel those muscles. I still need to have my shower, but I tend to find that if I don't sit down and eat my breakfast straight after the gym, it normally takes over an hour before I start eating, which isn't good. So that's why shower comes later. Today I've got two things in mind. I want to tighten up the seats in our car because they've gone squeaky, they've gone loose. So I want to work my way around the car with a spanner. And then after that, do a little bit of work on the website again I think and at some point today I might try and film my version of how the first three months of pregnancy were for a man. It's going to be like a quick cut interview style roundup of what I thought it was going to be and what it actually turned out to be for a dude. So some people might find that interesting. I still haven't had my shower. It's turning into one of those days when things keep happening one after the other. I completely forgot I'm supposed to Skype with my friend in Hong Kong to talk to him about like everything, tell him about being a father soon. Completely misjudged what time it was. Sasha's gone to sleep so I'm gonna Skype in the bedroom so she doesn't wake up. Okay, this will work. Alright, that's done. I only spent about 35 minutes on there, which is weird because normally I would have spent ages but yet to go out. I completely forgot to film it. But now, it's time for me to get on with my day. Where's Sasha? Hey, Eden, where's mummy? You awake? Where's mummy? She's in the kitchen, I think. Eden tells me you're out here. How's it going? Starting Enjoy your sleep? Just finished Skyping with Michael. Yeah. Yeah. He's good. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. good. Telling me all about Hong Kong. Oh. And I see you've got a sweet potato. Yeah, Spanish arms. Yeah, that'd be nice. We're trying to wake up Aiden to go for her walk. She's feeling asleep. She will not get up. Aiden, come on. Oh. Oh, there you go. You had a pillow drops on your head and everything. <laughs> Come on, it's time for your afternoon walk. No, I'm gonna go back to sleep. Come on, you. Grumpy. Lazy. Come on, let's do this. No, she's not coming. Come on. If anybody's wondering exactly how hot it is out here, imagine taking a wallpaper stripper and holding it just far enough away from your leg or your arm so that it doesn't burn you and it gets really uncomfortable. That's basically how hot it is at the moment. Ridiculous. Eden just wanted to get straight back to the house. But you're glad you didn't have to come out? Yes. <laughs> Sasha's just doing her editing. Oh, I am going to go outside now back into the heat and attempt to fix these chairs in the car. One of the first things that I bought when we got to Thailand was a set of spanners. I knew I was going to need them with such an old car. Every now and again, I have to go around the bolts and make sure everything's ready for road trips. Something that I've gotten used to over the years, but to be honest with you, I'm done with doing this.
it's hot, it's uncomfortable. But it's something that has to be done and it's my responsibility to make sure everything is tight and ready to go. All the bolts and nuts feel nice and tight now. Seats aren't squeaking anymore and everything's working as it should. So I think I'll leave it there because I am really hot. I'm officially having one of those days where nothing is simple and nothing is going right. Something simple is tightening up the chair bolts and it turns out every single bolt on this car is a different size. So I have to go through the entire spanner kit to find all the right ones that fit. I'm just exhausted, I'm hot, bothered. I'm absolutely done with this kind of stuff now. Ah, oh, can't be bothered fixing stupid things like this. I'd much rather just send it somewhere and get them to do it for me. There was a time when I used to imagine myself out here in Thailand, working on an old car in the warm weather, and it was all very romantic and nice thought, but reality is not enjoyable, too hot, irritating. If this was a project car, yeah, but because it's an everyday run around, uh, you need two cars for this kind of stuff. And I don't know how this has happened, but there's a ton of water coming out from down here, which is where the air conditioner is. But it's also where our water tanks are. So either the water tanks are leaking like mad, or the air conditioner has been removing so much moisture from the house that it's just created a trail. But whatever it is, oh, it's just one of those days. It's no longer squeaking away which was what was irritating me. And obviously it's not safe if your seats are loose. So I'm glad that that is done, but I've been lying in a load of water. Can't see because my shirt is white, but my back is soaking wet. So God knows what I've been lying in for the last 20 minutes. All right, that's all the car stuff done for now. Can't handle any more. Too much. I know I say that it's horrible being out there working on a car in the heat, but I have to admit, it was a lot worse working on a car in the cold in the UK. So I can't complain about that too much because I remember how it felt to touch metal when it was freezing. Not good. So she was preparing the dinner and I'm gonna have a shower because I said I was gonna have one this morning after the gym and I hadn't bothered and it would have been pointless. So now's the time to get in there and wash off all this crap. I am about to start cooking up the dinner. The prep is done. Tonight we are having the whole wheat pasta and I'm making my own sauce with garlic, tomato and basil and I've also got some roasted peppers and garlic. So I'm going to chuck my basil, tomato and garlic in the blender to make up the sauce with a spoon of oil. There's the whole wheat pasta there. And then a tray of red pepper and garlic. The pepper's got some balsamic on it, so hopefully that'll be nice. Put these in the oven. Okay, and here is dinner. Finished, looks really good and it smells really good as well. Nice and basil -y. Yummy. We are just trying to work out what to have for dessert because we only really have mango <laughs> and that's it. Mango is then. Mm, we've got passion fruit juice, but that's just juice. I was going to make a smoothie, but I don't have bananas. Mangoes. Mango it is. Are they alright? They look a bit shrivelly. I never got around to filming my video in the end. The car business took way too long and ruined that part of the day. But I did manage to get a lot more done on the website and I also finished some work on the computer, so I feel good about that. And now I feel ready to take a break because I've got a headache. So we're gonna watch some Bates Motel. Sasha has set up some mood lighting. It's always a girl thing to do, but I do appreciate it. I think it does do something towards calming the mind. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I like Guys never think to do stuff like that.
just tasted the mango and it tasted okay but it has a bit of a bleachy aftertaste so I think they've gone off we're just gonna have some popcorn instead I think I put some of that orange olive oil onto popcorn the other day and put a bit of sugar on it very small amount and it turned out really nice so I think I'll make that instead all right so the trick is to put some raw kernels in with nothing on it stuff them in the microwave full power for four minutes and then usually at this point Sasha runs away from the microwave because <laughs> she doesn't want to be close to the microwaves <laughs> so I'm gonna watch it and make sure nothing pops over when my dad was here we collected a load of sugar packets because we don't eat them but he was having them so it's useful because now we can just pop a small packet onto the popcorn. We literally don't use sugar in this house at all, so it's the only reason why they get used at the moment. Alright, this is the corn situation. Mm. It tastes good. And you probably don't know this, but guess who else loves popcorn? <laughs> I wonder if they can guess. Who do you think? Eden the dog loves popcorn. We used to be one of her favourite snacks back when we used to live in London. So, we give her some of the corns that pop over that don't have any sugar or don't have any salt on them. Popcorn and, she actually and loves Doritos. Them. Yeah, Doritos and popcorn are Eden's guilty pleasures. <laughs> Eden! Oh my god, look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Good girl. Mmm, <laughs> good girl. Okay, all the popcorn is made. And it's got the orange spray on it. Time for some TV. Okay, we are ready to watch some Bates Motel. So we're gonna do that. Jay just had a quick chat to his dad on the telephone. <laughs> Facebook Messenger, was it? He rang you on? I think so. He basically said that the surgery was a success, according to the doctors. He got out of it okay, and he feels good. So, yeah, he's okay, my dad's fine. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed today. I know it's only a home day, but home days happen. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and our new channel, These Tiny Moments. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye. You don't want to do what? I don't want to do this. You and me, this. How dare you give me orders, come into my house when I'm not here, act like somehow I'm beholden to you? I suppose you are. I don't like you, I don't trust you. And I want you out of my house now.